In this edition, we are going to talk about the evolution of the laparoscopy forcep. Laparoscopy has been around for many, many years, and uh, the growth really happened in the 80s when Lap Coley was developed. Lap Coley kind of developed because of the camera system, the insufflators, and the uh, irrigation systems all came together at once. And with all these things coming back together at once, it made a really big push to start doing procedures laparoscopically instead of open procedures. This was a standard forcep used in the 80s and uh, uh, when uh, Lap Coley started big, there was only a limited amount of jaw patterns. So you had a grasper, you had a scissor, and maybe a couple of dissectors, maybe a retraction forcep, and that was it. Um, these were very easy to use. These were what the first doctors, when they started doing laparoscopic cholecystectomy, would, would use. And uh, they had really no choices because this was it. And it kind of limited the procedure sometimes and what they could do. One of the things they found out was they couldn't clean the forcep. So they had to develop a forcep that they could actually clean the inner channel out. Because what they found out was that during the procedures, they would get fluid or blood or bile burden build up inside of the shaft. Now on the first generation forceps, there was no way to take it apart to go inside and clean the shafts. So all they would do is wash it, clean it the best they can and sterilize it, but they could not rinse out the inner channel. So that came up to the development of a forcep with an irrigation port. And this irrigation port made it nice so that not only can you wash the instrument from the outside, but you could actually irrigate fluid through the channel here and it come out the distal end right here and be able to clean out. As laparoscopic procedures developed and more and more laparoscopic procedures were being done, doctors were having a hard time manipulating the forceps inside the body. If they wanted to have the jaw at a different angle, they'd have to turn their hands like this, like this, like this. And depending on the patient's anatomy and patient's size, it made it very difficult for some doctors. So the next evolution of laparoscopic forcep came into with a rotatable shaft. So you could actually open the jaws up, rotate the shaft, and be able to rotate the jaws. So instead of rotating your handle, you'd be able to rotate the jaws and be able to get into the right position to grasp or cut or dissect whatever you wanted to do. Lap, lap procedures developed even a little bit more. Um, then you had the rotator on the forcep, and then you also had a cleaning port on the forcep. So you're able to clean and flush out the channel of the instrument so it would be clean on the inside and clean on the outside so there would be no bio burden. The original instruments had stainless steel handles that were coated. When these handles um, were being used, uh, once in a while the coatings on the handles wear out and then when you use current, the current passes through the handle, sometimes the doctors will get arced on the back right here. So the doctors sometimes will let go or so on because the energy might be a little bit stronger on the handle than on, on the tip because the insulation was compromised. So the next generation of laparoscopic instruments, they started making the instruments of composite handles. So these handles were completely composite, whether made out of a polycarbonate, a carbon fiber or some other material out there, um, it was better because even though if they're having current run through, the doctor would be fully insulated from getting shocked during the procedures. One of the ways uh, uh, some companies wanted to help the hospitals to do more procedures in a day because they weren't able to process and clean the instruments was to develop single-use disposable instruments. And here's a single-use instrument. It has a uh, ABS handle. It's a uh, uh, comes sterile packed as a single unit. You open it up during the procedure, you use it, you throw it away. And uh, hospitals found that, you know, when they had a lot of cases, it was better to use a single use instrument because not only would the instrument always be good and new and cut sharp, but it'd be sterile and they wouldn't have to go through the process of re sterilizing it and cleaning it and so on. The only problem and the drawback of using a single use disposal instruments is first of all, medical waste, but second of all, is ask the cost to the surgeon. One of the, uh, the next innovations was a lot of doctors had you know, different sized patients. So every time, again, back to the same situation of having to use a ring handle like this, some of the doctors had a lot of fatigue or finger pain or joint pain or wrist pain to, to using instruments like this if they're doing five or six procedures a day. So then 
uh, companies developed axial handle instruments. And these axial handle instruments, instead of having to go that, Dr. Evil will work like this and he would be able to work better and not have as much uh, fatigue on his wrist. So these instruments uh, came in a single unit. They were rotatable. They also had a flush port so you could flush straight through it. You could lock it and they had many different jaw patterns that you're able to use for this type of instrument. Some of the instruments would get dull. So they didn't have a way to get the instrument sharpened. And what would happen is during the procedure, a dull scissor would take that much longer to, to do the procedure. So a new instrument was developed where the doctor was able to replace the tips. Now these tips were more economical than buying a whole new forcep or even using a disposable forcep. So they could use these tips, some were single use tips or some were multi-use tips. You could sterilize them a few times and then you throw them away when they're done. Or you know, um, you, you uh, buy single ones that are sharp at every case. Holding the handle a certain way, a doctor would get a lot of fatigue in his wrist. So then companies got more innovative and developed handles that you could use and work on them different ways. So this handle has many different ways because of the design of the handle from the traditional design, which is something like this, that you're able to hold it, you're, and it's a more ergonomic handle, and you're able to position it a lot better because of the design of the handle and the instrument. One of the next innovations in laparoscopic instruments were changing the diameters. So now when you were working on adolescents or uh, very thin patients or patients that didn't need to have the larger ports because there was herniation problems, etc., they had instruments that went down to two millimeters. They went to three millimeters. The standard forcep, when it was developed, was five millimeters. And they even had 10 millimeters. But a lot of doctors found out that with the larger instruments, more chance of causing hernias. So then the doctors went and uh, helped to develop smaller diameter instruments. And now the smaller instruments can go from two millimeters to three millimeters to four millimeters to five millimeters. So you have a choice of what diameter uh, you want to use and it's less traumatic for the patient. Now we've come to the third generation of laparoscopic forceps. These are the precise line from Endoscopy Superstore. Uh, the precise line is a modular style forcep which uses a polycarbonate handle. It's fully rotatable. And what's unique about this third generation forcep is that you could disconnect it and the handle and then you open the shaft and the jaw insert comes out. Now there's about 50 different jaw patterns. So you could pick your different jaw patterns you want. Uh, you could pick your diameter shafts. These come in five millimeter, 10 millimeter. They come in two different lengths. So if you have a standard patient or you have a bariatric patient, you're able to use them. So these are really nice. They're economical. And what's the advantage to these modular forceps is if the jaw insert gets damaged or the uh, insertion shaft gets damaged, you only have to replace that. You don't have to send it back. You don't need to wait for a repair technician to come by your hospital. You could buy extra components and have them in place so that you'll be able to interchange them out. And this is the, the third generation of laparoscopy instruments that are the most economical and the most eco-friendly to use in a hospital. Now, it also comes with colored rotators. So that makes it easier. During a, a case, you could have a red as a Maryland forcep, you could have green as a scissor, you could have blue as a grasper, you could have orange as a uh, retractor or so on. And uh, we have many different rotator caps that you put on the forcep. So it makes it a lot easier to use. And there's two styles of handles. This is a standard style of handle. And then we have a ratchet handle that works. So they're both e easily interchangeable. And uh, these are the most uh, economical forceps out there. The next generation of instruments is our premium alignment instruments. The advantage is, is that you have 10 different style of handle that you can decide. You could have just a standard ergonomic handle that you could use like this, or you could use like this without, without having to put your fingers in the hole. Or we have our standard ratchet style handles that, that open and close. Or we have the traditional metal handles from the first generation style laparoscopic instruments. We also have a uh, ratcheted handles that are non-ratcheted with a flip ratchet. And then we also have axial style handles. So you could use them and use like the old style axial handles. So we have many things available. Also on our premium line, we have four different lengths of the 
speed lock forcep, and we have two different diameters. So we have five and 10, and we have four different lengths, so you could decide what length you want. If you're gonna be using the forceps for doing a laparoscopic urology procedure, you may only want a 26 centimeter length. If you're doing a bariatric patient, we have them at 45. So we have av everything available for whatever your patient's needs are. The other thing that's very advantageous is, is these are completely modular. So again, you could purchase additional pieces, have it there so you don't have to worry about if an item gets damaged, that you only have to replace that item, you don't have to send it back, you don't have to have a technician do it. This could all be done right in your SPD department. And we have 100 different jaw configurations. So we have over 10 different scissor styles, from a micro scissor to a serrated scissor to a curved med scissor, a straight med scissor, pointed scissors, whatever. We have graspers. So we have 100 different jaw patterns. And with the different combinations we have, we can make 8,000 different combinations of this forcep. So we can meet all your surgeon's needs, whether the handle style or their uh, jaw pattern style or their length needs. So on. It's very easy to put together and you just go turn it and it's ready to go. And that's all you have to do. Now, this is the premium line. It's known as Speed Lock. It's available online in Nosby Superstore. As the uh, evolution of laparoscopic forcep uh, evolved, um, we went from this, as I first started as a first generation, to we went to the second generation, which were rotatable and had irrigation ports, to the third generation, which became modular so that you were able to change different parts, you were able to have carbon fiber handles, you were able to have different polymer handles. They made them into uh, single use disposables. You had some that just had replaceable tips. So that was all part of the second to third generation forcep. So as we evolved from that, and the procedures became more intensive and more intricate, then the doctors said, hey, you know, I like everything. I like rotatable, I like that. But now, is there any way that you could articulate the jaw? So this is the next development from advanced endoscopy. And this is where the jaws can actually, the forcep could be straight, but you could articulate the jaw to whatever angle you want. So you could articulate it, and it articulates up to about 80, 85 degrees, and you could get to a position that you want to get to. So this is the next evolution of the laparoscopic force. Now, as that developed, um, doctors said, well, I need to have it in a five millimeter and be able to even develop even more. So this is the, uh, the next evolution of laparoscopic forcep, is that first of all, it's a standard forcep, it's totally rotatable, and you can open it and close it, but now you want to get into a procedure, uh, a position that's very hard, you turn the knob right here, and you could actually actuate the distal tip, and now you got the distal tip at an angle. And this is basically like being inside, and you're, you're going in with a straight forcep, and then you could actually get the forcep to turn to get into position you want. And this is another innovation patented by uh, Advanced Endoscopy Devices and is available on Endoscopy Superstore. Now there's other companies that made certain instruments that also have articulating. This is a, a robotic company that has this articulating tip. And uh, if you notice this, you know, the tips move and tips rotate and the jaws open and close so you can move it any way you want. And this would be connected to a robotic arm that we put inside the patient. So they have many of these available. The, the drawback to these are, these are expensive, you know, but after so many procedures, they have to be replaced. So this is the next evolution. And as laparoscopic uh, surgeries evolve even more, there'll be more and more different style of instruments where doctors will be able to actually put their hands inside the instruments, get the instruments to be able to move just like how our hands and our wrists move outside the body, they'll be able to get the jaws and the instruments move the same way. Thank you for joining us at Dospi Superstore. Come and visit us at the store. We have all these items in stock and uh, wherever we can help you, let us know. Thank you.